All right, everybody, it is the first Saturday of the month again, and we just left Goodwill store number one. I ended up with like two carts. The reason I ended up with two carts is I've got my lovely wife with me today. If she will stop and wave and say hi. 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 Yep, she took the day off work, so I've got my wife today. All right, so here is what we got from Goodwill store number one. And not a whole lot of profit on this one, but I mean, come on. You just could not pass up picking up the eBay auction game. Uh, well, I think it was going for like maybe 30 bucks on Amazon, but on eBay there was like two that sold out of 40. And this one is in brand new condition, so that was exciting. And I picked this up and the wife was like, oh, can I test it? It's like, honey, it's brand new. Can I test it? So, yeah. It's, foot massaging pillow. Yes, she wants the foot massaging pillow. Okay. And I paid $5 for this. And I think it was going for like 30 on eBay. And I checked on Amazon and it's restricted. So I can't sell it on Amazon. Quagmire Golf cover thing i can't remember exactly uh it is, was one dollar and it was selling on amazon for 20. so that's a little something sex in the city trivia game brand new in the box and i paid half that price 250 and i think it was selling for like 25 30 but it's all loose in there, so I'm not sure. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if that's a re-shrink wrap. Oh well, I can figure it out later. And Chia Homer going on uh, Amazon for 25. And where is that prize? I paid 250. whole bunch of glass stuff that the wife bought and I did go outside the box that I normally do okay that's that. well let's go ahead and try it. let's see here I've got some sort of game uh, I just scanned it and see if I can send it off to Amazon and I paid 750 and I think it was going for like 40 on Amazon so, yeah, that's going off to Amazon. And that was like ranked number 13, 14. Yeah, I remember it was like a really low rank. And I'm not going to show you all the t-shirts I got, but I did get some good ones. I mean, come on. I don't ever find Slayer. I got a Slayer and a Megadeth in here. And yeah, it might be a reprint, but come on. Oh, yep. And Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash is cool. Isn't that right, Sonia? Oh, come on. You know, you used to sing along with Johnny Cash. You used to love Ring of Fire. Alright. So. No, it's good. Hello. Ah. Carson is high demand <laughs> today, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Let me go ahead and just start unloading this. Is it that bad where they've already run out of carts in there? Uh, ain't no cart. Wow. No cart. All right, sorry about that. He needed the cart because they were out of carts in there. And I've got that already turned around. This is a Canon Pixma MX340. I paid $10. And it's selling on Amazon for, I think it was going for like 80 and that was Merchant Fulfilled, so that'll take a little bit more research to do. And let's see here. It is a 5 CD changer, I already forget, and I think that was going for uh, 50 on eBay, and I couldn't find it on Amazon with my phone, but I'll figure that out later. Today was electronics day. I just kept coming across some decent electronics. I got a VCR, Panasonic VCR, an Apex DVD player, and 
What was this? Not a second. Uh, I already for can't tell. I only got two hands, one for the camera and one to move stuff around. Let's see. Yeah. And I picked up, I think I paid an average of $5 for each VCR DVD player. Okay, this one was a Toshiba. And I don't normally find VCRs that sell for a decent price, but I think the profit on each one was at least 30 And the profit on one of these, I can't remember, was going to be at least uh, 90 So... We'll see. All right, so that is store number one, and I've already, I think I, we spent almost $70 at store number one, so. All right, store number one, on our way to store number two. Bye. All right, everybody, we just left Goodwill store number two. I got a, oh, what brand was this? I don't remember. Uh, espresso maker. All I know is I spent like three bucks on it and I'm just gonna part it out. And I'm not exactly sure what this thing is. It's a Precision New Wave 2. I spent seven dollars, seven fifty on this thing and it's gonna sell for about sixty to seventy dollars. So I'm not exactly sure but I'm not gonna complain on that. So, all right. I picked up, if I can do this with one hand. Okay. Hang on a second. All right. There we go. I had to use two. Essencio Coffee Maker. And the box is torn to shreds, but it's actually brand new in the box. And I spent more than I like to. And again, half price, $10. And I'm probably going to make about, if I sell the whole unit, probably about 70 if not, I'll probably part it out because parts always seem to sell better and I'll make probably about 60 off of all the parts. And, all right. Picked up DVD, spent $1.50. It sells on Amazon for about 15. Another one, basically about the same. And every time I come to this Goodwill store, they have at least one of these. And it was today it was 50 cents but i sent them off to amazon they sell within about a week every single time and it's just weird it sells for 13 dollars not a whole lot of profit but every time i come to this goodwill they have at least one so i'm okay with that and bobbins for the wife to sew and yeah basically a few t-shirts not really even worth Showing. So, all right, just a few little items today. I think we spent 35, and we we're going to stop, have lunch, and then we are going to be on our way to Goodwill Store number three. Lunch. Bye. All right, everybody, we just left Goodwill Store number three, and I only, I still had the two carts, but we didn't fill it completely. So, I'm going to start off with the find of the day. See if I can focus on this. There we go. A CD that says faithfully I'm not sure exactly what it is songs about a love worth waiting for I paid one dollar for it and it's selling on Amazon for seventy dollars so as of right now that's my find of the day and the rank is like 400 some odd thousand but I mean come on it's a CD what's the storage gonna cost every month a penny a month yeah I'm okay with waiting for that one seventy dollar item and my wife did get some glass items, so we've got the t-shirts covering those. And there was, the only really interesting t-shirt I picked up was a ACDT t-shirt. And I've got a, okay, the sun is just glaring something fierce. So I've got a American Harvest Convection Perfection, blah, blah, blah. Uh, looked it up on eBay, either complete or for parts. Uh, I think I'll end up making like eighty dollars off of the whole thing, and I paid seven fifty. So, all right, that is Goodwill Store number three, and we are on our way to Goodwill Store number four. 
All right, so we just left Goodwill store number four. I didn't get a whole lot, and the angle of the lighting here is absolutely horrible. All right, so I got another espresso machine, and yes, I just love these things because they make so much money off of the parts. I mean, come on. I've spent 250. I'll get my money back off of that item alone. All right, and I looked up. I have a iPhone 4 Defender Series case and holder, and it's selling on Amazon, but it's restricted, so I can't sell this on Amazon. Uh, I'm gonna have to eBay it. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't. I think I found it on eBay, but if anything, I only paid 50 cents. And I got some t-shirts, nothing real great and wonderful. And I've got a little mini food processor. The parts on the mini food processors sell as just as the same prices as the regular size food processors. And this is the Black & Decker Handy Chopper Plus. So, all right, nothing real big, fancy, or really entertaining to take a look at and that's in case you can see there is the back of my van right now all right so that is goodwill store number four and we are on our way to goodwill store number five all right so i spent like 20 some odd dollars at goodwill store number five and i got like two bags and a vcr dvd player and i think it's a dvd player i don't even remember but all I remembered was this one was selling for about $60 on eBay and I only paid three. This one I spent $10 on it and it was selling for about $70 on eBay. I didn't even get a chance to look them up on Amazon, but I'll figure that out later. All right now everything is just kind of all blending together. All right, so there is from good five Goodwill stores, and we still got time. We're going to try and hit some more, and we got to at least get some coffee in us. So we're going to stop, get some coffee or something, take a little break, and on to Goodwill store number six. Oh. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Oh. All right, everybody, we just left Goodwill store number six, and I didn't get a whole lot. I did pick up an ergonomic keyboard. <laughs> And I don't normally do ergonomic keyboards, but I only paid a buck fifty for it, and it's selling on actively selling on eBay for about forty dollars. So I figured I, I I can try that one. And I picked up a couple DVDs, Chicago, and I don't really know much about the movie. All I know is it was selling on Amazon for about thirty-five. So I can figured I can go into that. Uh, Lost in Space. Uh, I only paid a buck fifty for it, but this was a not for resale. This is a promo DVD, and whenever you see these, especially if they're in the shrink wrap, if you, it's a decent price, buy it. And I paid two dollars for that thing, and it was selling on Amazon for I think it was going for like fifteen twenty, so. That's where that's going. And this is now my find of the day. Not exactly sure what it is exactly. Just a CD, DVD changer. And I paid $5 for it. And I could not find it on eBay anywhere. But I did find it on Amazon. And it's selling in used condition, merchant fulfilled on Amazon for $160. So right now, that's my find of the day. So, all right, that is Goodwill store number six, and we are on our way to Goodwill store number seven. Goodwill. Yeah, everybody's real excited. <laughs> all right, to the next store. All right, everybody, so we left Goodwill store number seven, and it was finally too dark where we couldn't really see anything of me trying to shoot any video. Then we went and had lunch, or we had dinner, and then we came out. So, all right, so here's what I got. I don't normally find these, and it's always super rare, because this is three now that I've ever seen. I actually found one last week, and I still need to get it tested and 
listed and everything. But, alright, so I tested these at the store, and they work. And, yeah. If you don't know what the lids off is, feel free to go look them up. They sell for about anywhere from 35 and up. I was curious, and I was looking up at the store. Some of them were going up towards, like, 150 But these in particular will sell for about on the low end of 35 each. And I don't know how many of you actually know manga, but manga usually sells pretty well. I've got a couple that I picked up the other day that'll sell for about 50 bucks a piece. So I picked up every single manga that I scanned like four of them and they were selling halfway decent for at least $10 profit each. And I only paid like 20 cents each. So I picked them all up. I figured I'm not even going to take the chance. And this one, it's in used condition. I was curious. Something said, pick me up and look at it. If it was brand new, the only one that was brand new on Amazon was selling, or at least had listed, for $92. This one is in used condition, and I think they had a couple for 16 but either way, I mean, come on. You can't pick up a book for 25 cents and not list it for at least $16. So, all right, so that's what I picked up there. Uh, I can't remember what it is exactly, but I think it was at least a $10 profit on this. I think I paid a buck. And a whole bunch of leapfrog toddler stuff, infant and toddler stuff, and they were, uh, let's see here, I paid $2 each, and they were selling on Amazon for about, uh, I think it was anywhere from 10 to $30 a piece, and each one of those is in brand new condition. And Joe, in case you're watching, guess what I picked up for your wife? You guessed it. Funshine Bear. Alright. Let's see here. Uh, cross training. I think that was going for like $30 on Amazon. And oh yes, another one of those little things that's VTech. This was going for about 15 but I was basically picking up the whole lot. A cassette, I think, was going for at least 15 or 20 on Amazon. Still in the original shrink wrap. And I honestly don't even remember if I showed you this or not, or if I got it at a different store. I don't even remember buying it, if that even gives you any idea. But I picked it up, so there had to be some sort of profit there. And... Board game, NASCAR, Speedway Challenge, brand new, never opened, and I paid half that price, $1.50, selling on Amazon for $35, so, alright, so that is everything else, and now, ah, my massive pile of t-shirts. Excuse me as I drink some of my beer. For those of you who know, I don't normally drink, but as much as we went shopping today, we actually went off. And we spent more than we normally do in one day. So, here we go. My massive pile of t-shirts. Toby Keith Broken Bridges t-shirt signed by him and the t-shirt alone they people have actively listed they're not selling but i will be the only one with his signature on one so we will see this one the wife really wanted but it was not her size game of thrones this is i think it was like a size medium or something i don't even remember Give you a rough idea. That's all t shirts. 
Perry the Platypus. Rebel 8. I have no idea who it was or what it was, but it caught my eye. Superman. Johnny Cash. The Hobbit. Worldwide fan event of 2013 in London. Uh, the wife picked this out. She actually was able to catch one that I didn't, but she was also looking at t-shirts before I was. Brett Michaels. Band shirt. Gotta love him. Ed Hardy. Uh, Mickey Mouse Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. I can't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure I've had one of these before, and I think it sold within like two days of listing. Hurley. It's not really moving right now, but it's almost summertime, and it'll move quickly. And do I even have to say who that is? Yeah. And this is... You can read that inked. I don't know what it was, but something just said, buy me. So I did. And I can't remember. I think the wife picked this out for me. Man is the root of all evil. Oh, wait. That's why she picked it up. Calvin Klein. So, all right. So that was that one. Hello, kitty. And that is, uh, okay. I've been drinking already. Um, English. English. Hello British. Kitty show. British, Black. that is. And I Dude, don't... Dude, you've had like five sips. Oh, I've had more than that. So. You've not even finished a full one. Uh... Oh, my God. L Lucky Brand Classic Fit T-shirt. The brand just caught my eye. I don't know why, but El Diablo. And I don't know. I just figured... I'm... Just grab it. Paint a buck a piece, just grab it. Mickey Mouse, Skull and Crossbones. Hulk. Hurley. Batman. Vans. Oop, there's more than that there. What else is under there? Oh, yes. Wicked. In case you can't see that, the eye is dotted with the flying witch. And I heard I have not been able to confirm yet that the X-Files is having a reboot. And either way, it's Mulder and Scully. Come on. You gotta love X-Files. If you don't, you're not enough dork. Yes, I am a dork. I don't mind. Geek. Geek, Geek too. Proper term, Michael. Rolling Stones. Some of these shirts are really sticking together tonight. And I actually have never come across one of these before. And I saw it, and I flipped, and I was like, yes! I've never come across a Megadeth t-shirt. And I saw it, and I was happy. It was like, yes, now I've at least had a Megadeth. So, all right, I got a Megadeth t-shirt. I'm happy now. Let's see here. I've got a camo Mickey Mouse. And in case anybody remembers, I had a whole bunch of those tap-out t-shirts that were brand new with tags. Well, here's another one. Slightly different. It says Las Vegas, so I figured I'd go ahead and grab it. And they, those t-shirts are, they didn't, none of them sold the first month, but the second month I relisted them, I've already made my money back. I've already sold, what, seven, eight of them? And Steve Earle and the Dukes. Kings of Leon, only by the night. Superman. Slayer. I thought it was cool. Got a Slayer shirt. I didn't have one before. The thing that sucks about this shirt is it's a size small. The smaller sizes don't normally move. But I had to get it because it was Slayer. To Air is Human. To R is Pirate. Hurley. Hollister. There's my Spider-Man shirt. And I don't remember why I picked it up. Huh? You're keeping that seriously? Yes, I'm keeping it. It's Spider-Man. <clears throat> All that remains, I don't remember. Did you pick this one up or did I? You did. I did? Okay. I don't remember. 
Famous Stars and Straps. Not Stars and Stripes. Stars and Straps. Hurley. Who watches the Watchmen. And this one actually has something on the back. Watchmen. And if anybody has not even seen these, I'm sure everybody's probably seen them around. But if not, there's a, people walking around with a shirt on that says, Have you seen my zombie? And then you ask them, and then they're going to flip up their shirt. And on the inside, there's a little zombie or something similar to it. And they flip that over their head. So that's the ongoing joke. Have you seen my zombie? Oh, well, here you go. And this is an Apartment 9 Eiffel Tower shirt. Beatles. Hurley. Wreck-It Ralph. Another tap out. ACDC. <coughs> Thundercats. Alright, so that is all of my t-shirts. And... There is my massive pile. Yeah. I'll count them up and I'll put somewhere around in here how many I've got. So, yeah. Alright, so I've already forgotten how much I've spent. I have no clue how much I'm going to make because I have a massive pile of t-shirts that I have not calculated. But, alright. That is all. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.